ever wished your mind came with a steering wheel? Well, buckle up, because psycho-cybernetics might just be the owner's manual you've been looking for. Dr. Maxwell Maltz, a plastic surgeon who noticed that changing people's appearance often didn't improve their self-image. He realized that the problem was not in their mirror, it was in their minds. It's like trying to fix a car's engine by polishing its hood. Dr. Miles introduces the concept of self-image, our internal blueprint of ourselves. Our mind is like a thermostat, always trying to keep our reality consistent with our self-image. It's why lottery winners often lose their windfalls. Their self-image of being not wealthy snaps them back to their old reality. It's like when you try to save money by cutting out coffee, no. but then your mind's like, Hey, let's buy the new PlayStation game instead. Who needs sleep anyway? One of the major takeaways from that book is that you can change your self-image. How? Imagine you are a movie director. Your current life is the film your mind is projecting on the screen of reality. Now, your job is to make a new film, better film, and make your mind to project that on the screen of reality instead. This is what Dr. Miles calls theater of the mind. Remember, the self-image is the key to human personality and human behavior. Change the self-image and you change the personality and the behavior. Direct quote from the book. So, how do you direct this blockbuster? You use visualization and affirmations to repeat your new self-image until it becomes your default setting. Just like practicing your steps before a dance competition. Or repeating yourself, I'm not scared, I'm not scared, before watching a horror movie alone at night. And here is a fun part. Your mind doesn't know the difference between vividly imagined experiences and real ones. So if you imagine yourself being confident, then your mind will adjust your behavior to match this image. It's like fooling your brain into thinking that your homemade pancakes taste just like the ones from that fancy restaurant. Dr. Mild says, close study will show that most of, if I could only excuses we make, are designed only to protect our self-image and keep it safe. Now, I challenge you to take the role of the director in the theater of your mind. What's the new film you will project onto reality? Leave a comment below about the movie you are going to start directing. And don't forget to subscribe to Shortcut channel for more mental GPS guides like this. So, are you ready to steer your mind now towards success with psycho-cybernetics?